Hi, welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have created a form and we have completed the adding a book to the database. In this video, we are going to look at the delete request. So inside the book.service.ts, I'm going to create a method. I'm going to call this delete book. This will take book ID as an argument. I'm going to call this book ID, which is of type string. Inside this, I will make use of this HTTP service. This dot HTTP service dot I'm going to call HTTP delete request. Inside this, we will pass the service endpoint. I have already copied the service endpoint. I'll copy this and I'll paste it. And I'm going to append the book ID, which is coming from here. Copy this and paste it here and I'm going to return this save this inside the book.component.ts I'm going to create a method I'm going to call this delete book to this delete book I'm going to pass the book ID which is of type string inside the delete book I will make use of this book service this dot book service I'm going to call a service method which is delete book and I'm going to pass the book ID and I'm going to call a subscribe method we need to subscribe to this method I'm going to get the response I'm going to call this response I'm going to print that response in the console console dot log I'm going, to, I'm going to print that response and we need to refresh the table as soon as the record has been deleted so I'm going to call get books method this dot get books this is going to refresh the table and if we get an error response I'm going to print that error response to the console I'm going to call this error console dot log I'm going to print that error message save this inside the book dot component dot html I'm going to create a button to this delete the text should be delete I'm going to use angular click event I'm going to call method which is delete book this delete book I'm going to pass this book ID copy this and paste it and save this go to the browser the web page will be reloaded automatically and now we got the delete button I'm going to delete these two records let's see what will happen the record has been deleted you can see console you can see the response that the book has been deleted and I'm going to delete this record as well the record has been deleted let's verify in the database I'm going to run the command and you can see that the record has been deleted from the database as well the delete should be working fine in the next video we're going to look at the edit operation 